It's May 2023. Should we sell in May and go away? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Maluli Asset Show. I'm your host, Tom Maluli, and this is episode 340. Thanks for tuning in. So there's an old saying on Wall Street, sell in May and go away. Should we actually do this? Historically, the period from May 1st through October 31st through Halloween is weaker than the alternate side of the calendar, which is November 1st through April 30th. So November through April, pretty good historically, but is the period from May and the next six months through the end of October, is it really terrible? No, it's just not as bad as it sounds like it is. Sell in May and go away. Maybe what you ought to consider is just go away. Not want to be rude there, but maybe you shouldn't sell. Maybe you shouldn't plan on doing anything crazy over the next couple of months and let the market do its thing. As we've said in several videos, the market's gonna market. Let it do its thing. So it might be better to not sell in May, but just go away. However, there are a couple of things working in our favor in this year, and we don't want to get into predictions, but the sentiment right now is overall pretty bearish. But yet the economy is on stronger footing than a lot of people really want to believe. The economy is doing better than it seems. There's something else that you may want to consider when we're talking about things like sell in May and go away. May has actually been one of the better months in nine of the last 10 years. So sometimes these old sayings are just old sayings. They're not necessarily true. Something else we've discovered in our work, and we want to cite Stock Traders Almanac. They came up with this theory, Yale Hirsch and his son Jeff, and also Ryan Dietrich. We're going to link to an article that he wrote as well. If stocks are down heading into the seasonally weak period from May, the six months beginning May 1st, that's not good. Last year was a pretty good example of that in 2022. However, if stocks are up heading into the sell in May period, it's just been meh. It's been okay. It hasn't really been a disaster. In fact, In those years where stocks have been up in the first couple of months of the year going into May, stocks have been up 75% of the time in that six month period starting May 1st. So the message in episode 340, sell in May and go away, not necessarily. We'll see you for the next episode.